Hello, it's Johnny. I have a new uh, gadget that I bought. Uh, it's supposed to power the Raspberry Pi, and uh, it could power Raspberry Pi 3P plus and Raspberry Pi 4P, uh, 4 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte. So this one came without no battery, uh, and you have a plastic over it. It say, "Do not remove the." the tape otherwise the uh, ESD will damage on the device so they recommend you don't remove this okay so I went and bought uh, this separate and I'll put the link on it and this one is the the highest I could find with the amplifier with 5800 and it, it is a 1A650. So 1A650 is the model that you need to get uh, to work with this. And this will help you to power. This is the output, output, output. So this is for micro, uh, micro C. And this is, I mean, USB-C and USB-A, USB-A. And here is the power you turn on. And then this is the power that come in. So this is a micro USB that you plug in to charge the battery that I purchased. Now, all the battery here is already being uh, been already charged, and it come with a total of eight battery. So I have uh, four already charged using the cable that come with it. You just plug into a power power. Uh, power block they call it the power block and then then this other two I charge it with another device now compare this with the uh, like the retro uh, game this I have a I put a warp uh, sticky screen on it so make it look like a Street Fighter but this one have Raspberry Pi on it now uh, they use this one the blue one that come with the uh, the retro RK, they call that one RS07. That one come with a 4.3 screen, and this is what it come with. Okay, and it's the same model, uh, 18650, but it's only uh, 2,200 um, mega amp, I think they call it, and they're all 3.7 voltage. So this one, the life probably maybe two hour. It doesn't have that much uh, battery life. Then my first one I bought was this one. It come with two with a charger, but they don't have this anymore. So I decided to buy that one. And I'll put both, uh, this one, uh, they discontinue it, so I can't give you the link. But this one, it come it come with two battery and a charger, and it's one A650. But the, but the voltage is only uh, 3000. Okay, same model same 3.7 voltage rechargeable uh, MAH but it's only 3000 so I assume the number is bigger is better and so in order for me to buy the battery I went and bought this that come with a flashlight come with two flashlights six battery come with two flashlights so I mean eight battery sorry there's four plus two more. This one haven't been charged, and I want to know how long it takes to charge using this system. Now, those take one hour, uh, roughly one hour, because when I came back after go outside walking exercise around my house, came back, and after one hour, they are fully charged. So now the question is, how long would this take to charge? So this two is new. Uh, haven't done use it or anything, so I'm going to try to charge it. But before we do that, we're going to put this together so I want you to see how to how I put this together uh, before I uh, uh, before I put the before I put the battery in but let's go ahead and check this uh, flashlight out to see how good this is uh, this is a fra two flashlight that come with this set uh, I forgot how much it costs uh, but it's it's pretty reasonable price I think, I think that but if you buy the battery by itself, it's more expensive. It doesn't look that pretty like the other one. There's a, a different one, but it's only come with two battery, and it looks nicer. This one looks kind of uh, 
choppy and got that rounded rounded screen I really don't like that rounded screen I like the old straight flat but this one have to you can see the L the LED light in there there's only one LED light and you just uh, put the battery in here so you unscrew this and you put the one that's already charged I believe it's this way <laughs> we will find out I haven't I haven't tried it yet yeah it's correct this way okay pop is I put it this way okay the positive go in and it's pretty bright you know and I guess you could maybe adjust it or There you go when you press it several times you do different things and yeah i think it does you do you can adjust it i think oh no that's just taking the screen off not sure this one does oh it does okay so if you keep on turning this uh it will uh be different see it's a little bit different now and then if you turn the other way see that that middle become bigger instead of smaller a while ago it was smaller so uh so if i turn the other way now i forgot which way i was turning you see <laughs> oh there you go this way okay so you keep on turning this way ah okay i'm getting confused now but anyway it's not bad it's put it's uh I see the review people say it's not bad the battery get a very good rating but the flashlight is like a three star instead of I mean four star instead of five and the battery you got five star so those are probably like a five hour because it's 58 uh, so it might be a five hour battery so I'm going to use that with two five hour battery is probably very powerful for Raspberry Pi and uh, in, it claimed to be you could use it for Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi uh, 3. See right here. Raspberry uh, for Raspberry Pi USB power board with four. All right. Okay. So we're gonna put this together real quick, and then we will uh, know uh, how it go. So it it came with the LED bag. L, I think they call it E E D I bag. I have them. It's keep it from static. Maybe I should put that car on top of this from static. So, because our body give uh, static whenever we uh, special the weather change. Okay. So this look almost like the one that I was using for my raspberry now this one is a raspberry pi 3 now what i was saying before uh, when i was doing the other video is raspberry pi 3 do not need this big uh heat sink okay this is a ice tower uh with a, a copper iron plus a fan so it, it cooled this down to 38 celsius and it stayed no i don't think it ever got higher than 48 celsius so it's a very uh neat device for both pi 3 and pi 4 okay special pi 4 you do want to use this okay now if you're using for a small project you could just use a regular fan with a copper on the cpu and uh, the memories on, on you know down here then you should be good okay so i'm using this one to put this on top put this at the bottom i mean and then uh then uh, let's see how we're gonna do this so they recommend that you put the screw on the bottom and then uh so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward the video so you don't have to watch me do this it's, you know in a slow motion <laughs> all right
Okay, <clears throat> this one is pretty much done. That's how you do it. When you pl push the button, uh, look like my battery is, my new battery, if you hold it, I just press it one time. It looks like it's only one block that is not full. So it already have three block. So it's 75% uh, already fully charged, the battery. And that's the power indicator. So if you, if you press it again, uh, it should go off. Okay, but it doesn't. So you have to hold it for a few seconds. So one, two, three, four, and let go. So I guess you have to hold it at least four seconds to five seconds. Then this will go off and then this will go off. Okay, now uh, normally a Raspberry Pi go directly right on top. Okay, but I have uh, this uh, heat sink. Uh, tower that come with this uh, plastic cover so in order for me to put this on top I have to undo this and work my way from bottom up I can I can start in the middle because once you tie it down you cannot tie it unless you take it off so I have to take everything off put it back in and we do the whole thing so that it will stay like that and I think that is what is this thing is is long enough for me to reach my hand and grab the you know, micro SD card without before I added this long one okay now they also came with a long one the bottom one they have a real long and then the from from here to the to the Raspberry Pi is a small one it's a very uh, it's not really that long and then then you're supposed to put uh, this screw right on top of the Raspberry Pi so pretend this is Raspberry Pi, you're supposed to put one of these tiny washer right on top. But since I have a heat sink, I'm going to have to undo this, start from, work my way from here and up. So I need to take all this off, then, and then I could put this on top like this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put that in a fast forward so you don't have to watch me do that. And when it finishes, it should pretty much look like this. And then you just have to plug the, this one is for charging and to get the power you just plug the the power from here and you could just plug it into here to to get the power and they didn't come with the cable or nothing so you have to provide your own cable so but everything is all facing this way so all right so let me go ahead and fast forward this so i could put all this in together and make this uh a one piece uh, one piece for my uh, for my mod for my Raspberry Pi for our K1 up counter countertop and then we could see how well how long and how well would this last with the monitor and everything because we don't know how well this battery portable battery is if this portable battery is good it's awesome now for Raspberry Pi 3B you, if you don't want this you could bring this down and then then you don't need this extra board you could just put it right on, on top so that the height will not be so you know so long where you cannot put it on the because if you look at it wow it's pretty long you know what I'm saying so if you don't want it that long you could reduce this level take this plastic out you know reduce that level and just put the Raspberry Pi right on top you know right here without all this extra school all right okay so let me go ahead and do that and because i'm putting on the rk what you call it the the rk one up counter counter cat and there's not a space back there so it doesn't matter for me to make this wheel tall it's okay you know but for like a small smaller system and you want to use it as a battery your thickness will be this thick with the, plus the pie so it will be this thick okay but it's still doable you still could put it inside and make this a portable or you don't have to put it right on top you could put it somewhere else you know somewhere else and because the cable have to come from here to here so it doesn't matter where you put it you know but if you want to put it together you could they make that possible but if you don't want it to be together and you, know, you want to put it right behind it you know depending on how much space you have so this is a good solution without having to create the 
extra belly, which I don't know. Uh, I watched the guy's video, the Korean guy, and he created his own little thing and everything is wonderful, but I'm just not that technical. I want to buy something that I could just, you know, put it together, plug it in and let it go, you know. All right, let me go ahead and go forward with that, with this. So I finally uh, put an image in here. I put a Wolf Stamps uh, 128 gig of uh, RK, and it's more like a, you could play vertically or horizontal. And I think this is one of the best image that I have run into. To, that is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on. I've been playing for about at least two hours. If you hold it. You just press it one time to turn the power on and if you want to turn it off you have to hold it at least like three seconds to four seconds for for the light to go off uh, right now it's uh, showing only two two light because um, based on what I'm seeing uh, if you leave this uh, not play for like two days this first one would will, will for some reason will go off okay now I don't know if you leave this uh, not playing leave I mean plug in but not play I don't know will will it drain the battery without touching it okay some battery will last for a long time without touching it and some will not uh, based on what I'm seeing this will last at least four hours or more and I've been playing for at least more than two hours and I still have two uh, two block on here but when I first started, it was already lost one. So one block already took almost two hours to for it to go away the light, and then there's two more. But based on this battery that I have, the 5800, uh, yeah, 5800, it's gonna. There's two of them, so it will probably last at least four to five hours on this. Uh, and I have the the tower fan is plugged into the Raspberry Pi, which is using the battery. Uh, the monitor is not is it have its own battery, uh, but the joystick is using the power from the Raspberry Pi. I mean from this battery, a uh, portable battery. So what I need I need to do now is buy a, a monitor, or actually I could plug a monitor to this and uh, the 10 inches monitors to see if I could run the whole system by itself. But so far running the Raspberry Pi. Uh, is running very well with uh, the tower fan and everything so but I want to go ahead and also test some more on my new uh, trackball and I'm using so let's go ahead and it, it also work with uh, Tempest uh, even though Tempest use a spinner but it run very nice with uh, with it so let me go ahead and go to see if I will remember the last play. Okay, so for example, this game right here, it, it played very well, and uh, not all the game will work with the the button that come with this joystick. Uh, not joystick, the trackball or the mouse they call it that come with the trackball on top. And this one, um, when you play it, it doesn't have a sound like you do with the bigger one. Uh, I went and I got this one uh, today, but I wasn't very happy because inside this uh, crystal ball, it have a lot of dirty. Uh, the ball is not real crystal. It have some inside have some dot, and it doesn't look as very pretty when it's light up. So I will demonstrate that as well, but. Uh, I find this one very nice uh, it costs $25 but it's good for like if you want to make a small you know 
mini version which I'm, I'm planning to do with this one I want to make a mini version and have track uh, trackball on it so I could play uh, games and centipede and even templates with this so and this game run very smooth very very fast I was comparing to the this trackball that I pay uh, 20 I got I put I was pretty lucky I got I pay I think pay 23 only and and this one I paid uh, 25 I think 25 99 roughly 26 maybe but this game played well on on this game and also the button work on this game I keep on forget you spoil hold it this way okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start the game and uh, um, demonstrate it so I'm gonna move it up here this game is good to uh, test it because you could run through that thing based on how well the, tr the trackball is if it's smooth it will run through that real fast so let me insert the coin and let me turn the sound up okay press the start button there you go okay so I'm using this trackball and I could run through this real quick okay since I don't have this setting uh, mounted to the system I have one hand holding it so that way I could run through the, this trackball Oop. and I could use the jump button from this uh, to get them over here Oop. The one here, good, got it. So I'm using one hand, and one hand is controlling it. See, I could go through that wheel fast. Ah, got me. Couldn't jump. I don't know what's that thing when that's to the the bushes. Ah, went in the wrong direction. All right, so this one is pretty fun, and also uh, this one I ha I don't have the white ROM, so it's not going to work for me. And we already I already test centipede before, so. Let me try the tempest. Ah, one button. Let me go ahead and go to uh, T. And ah, I think I press B instead of A. My bad. Okay, now we're in the T. So let's go. Oh, what happened? Let's go to the templates. Now, templates will work with the button as well, but the templates two will not. So if you press any button, it will freeze the game. Then you have to turn the power off the Raspberry Pi. So it is kind of uh, weird that that happened. Okay, so I'm gonna press the. Uh, coin so some coin press the start button and as you can see I have this on I could move it to the right to the left press the button right here and for it to shoot so you could, you could go through the whole motion very well You can spin through that thing like super fast. I shouldn't have pressed that special button. Then I lost it.
I'm just going to use a joystick instead. So it's fun to play with this mouse. I really like it because you could move around like this down, up, left, right, super fast with it. And I like that. And then uh, there's another one called the uh, um, Missile. I wonder if Golden T is set up correctly. Golden T. Ah, press the one button again. I wonder Golden the you know the golf game. I wonder the golf game is is in this uh build. I know the one the Sonic one is not in this build. So go G O L D. Go T. Because there's a a golf uh, golf game that require the the trackball, but since this image is not set up with trackball, so not all the game will work on this roof stands image. Uh, so you will have to transfer the correct ROM over that support uh, May two thousand three and two thousand for it to work. Golden uh, thing like golden tea. Here you go. Here's some golf game. So I don't know how well this uh, golf game will work on this. So oh here you go. Here's one that used trackball. I wonder how well this will work. So how did I do? How, I never really played golf using a trackball. So alright, let's try this, and let's make sure that it's set up with the correct. If it's not set up with May two thousand or two thousand three or two thousand plus, it will not work set up with 2010 I'm not sure the 2010 will work with uh, trackball so let's try it if it doesn't we could change and see if it will work so I'm still using this small little trackball uh, to play this Push forward, okay. All right. Huh? Don't know how you make it work. Oh, it's using the joystick. I mean, the joystick work. So let's let's see if we can make this to a, a different version. Out of the game. Let's see if we could change it to uh, May 2003. Now, depending what version they download, if a, if a version that they download do not support May 2003, this one, by changing it, it won't work. The game, she will, game will not start. So I will have to download the version 2003 and place it in this set up to test the, the golf ball about 2000 
their 2003 uh, dash plus doesn't do nothing so I need to probably download a new one for that a new court now what not one I mean I have to download a new one but I also have to download a new court for 2003 plus okay so this one will not work with different uh, because 2010 will only support joystick so I cannot use a trackball and 2003 plus do not this version do not work well at all so I will replace the one from dynamic duo dynamic, dynamic duo have a 2003 image that is good all right let me put this back so at least it will work So forget about the, the testing out the, because I, I want it because people say you have to have a big trackball to play this, and since I have a small one, I wanted to test it, but I'll test it. Um, I guess my other time to see. All right, let's try uh, the missile command. Missile command is pretty cool. It actually worked very well with that small trackball. Uh, at this moment, Glens doesn't have a trackball out on sale yet. I, I saw his video and uh, he, he stated that he, they, he will sell both versions. The new version that he commercial will work with Legends uh, RK. I think they call it the Legend, yeah. The Legend RK and the Ad with the other, other game system. It's made to work with a lot of different uh, cabinet. But the problem with it worked with a lot of cabinet, but the but the problem is uh, they couldn't get the track the ball to grow in one color. Uh, I, I like the idea they only could make the you know the the outside wing change color, but they couldn't get the ball. So that's why they got the solid solid track ball instead of the the clear one where you could see the color. And I like the old old one that they have, but uh, but he still haven't. He said he's going to sell both of them, the new one and the old one, so that uh, you could choose from it. Because I just use RK one up and uh, Raspberry Pi only. I don't need those other kind, you know, because I, I like the older model the way they design it. I don't like the new model. You know that they took out the color changes in the you know the the trackball so I prefer to go back and buy the older version but he don't have it on sale yet so I'm hoping he will have it soon so let's go to missile command now missile command you have to run back and forward and left it's like that game right there so this trackball is real cool they're able to run across and with no problem so let's go ahead and start the game and I'm not going to use the button on this because not all the game will work so when I do use the trackball I'm just going to move the trackball over to my RK Mini but not the button because I already have the RK button already okay so we're going to go ahead insert a coin and let's go ahead and start the game See, look at this. This move, you can move like crazy with this thing. Oop! You start pushing the button. Ah, oh, I didn't get that one. Oh shoot! Ah oh, shoot! Forgot about that one. But yeah, this ball move like real. See, this thing could move like crazy. I don't know how to use the other one. The 
the other. Ah, one button. I'm dead. Okay. Uh, apparently, I'm not playing very well with this game. So the battery life, let's look at it. So it's been, uh, I've started with 11, 12, 1, it's two and a half hour. So it looked like the battery had went down one more because I also been playing it off and on. So it looked like this game, this uh, battery will last a good one, two, three, four, four hour if you fully charge it. Uh, so three to three, about three and a half to four hour. I believe probably four hour because uh, I left it not playing for almost two and a half days. So I lost one block, but it looked like it's doing pretty well. Now, if you add a monitor to it, it might drain more. So roughly about good three, three to four hour with this one. And then you could put, uh, you could plug it in and it worked just fine with for the for the Raspberry Pi uh, 3B. Now, if I was to plug a keyboard in and let me check the temperature on this, see if it if it's uh, creating any kind of heating problem because of the the new uh, portable battery. So this is a, a, a good solution for portable battery when you want to build a portable system that you don't want it to uh, you know carry around with the with the so let's look at the screen and check out oh I press F I think I pressed the one button is rebooting instead of going to the should have pressed F4 instead so for me to use this image I will have to uh, Okay, so temperature right now is still 39 Celsius. So it's pretty good with the tower, with this tower and with this battery. So as you can see right there, the temperature right, right there, right over there. Okay, it's 39 Celsius. Okay, so that's very good because you don't want to go up to 8 Celsius when, when it's 80 Celsius this thing is super hot you know and it will shut down and it will give you a warning and uh, this one I use a bigger hard drive I believe a bigger SD card so it's 89 percent so it's a no it's a 64 gig and I have still have 6 gig left so I could add, I could add more arcade game to it all right, thank you for watching. Hopefully that this uh, battery will, will be a solution for you as well. So let me go ahead and show you how I shut this thing down. So that way you guys, uh, to shut it down, I just uh, I just hold this. Uh, let me zoom back out. I If you press it one time, it do not shut at all. So you have to hold it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. So about two Mississippi. Okay? And then the whole thing will be off. Alright, thank you.